So now that I've gotten to that point, right? How about yourself? Like, you know, you, you have some big news, you have some big news going on. Things are happening. Yeah. Tell me what's going on, please. So we can, so we know, you know what I'm saying? What, yeah. what, what, what's happening? Yeah, man, I'm getting married on the third. <laughs> it's psych. Y'all know better than that. Anybody watching this knows better than that. Um, no, so basically I'm, I'm in the same boat as Jordan where the last few months, the reason why we've taken this break has been, you know, it's been a, it's been a roller coaster of things, right? Where um, I've been waiting. I've been here about in Singapore about a year and some change. And uh, I've been, I came here to play basketball and for the pro team as well as for the national team. And I came here without any confirmation that I'd be able to do either. I had to, you know, work, work to get both those opportunities. Um, and it started bit by bit, but I got my foot in both doors. Um, and I was able to, you know, ingratiate myself with both communities, whether it's the Slingers, uh, the Singapore Slingers, which is the pro team or the Singapore national team. Um, and the last few months have been that process where, you know, showing up to practices, going to weight trainings, you know, just doing, doing the things I need to do on top of coaching and working um, to put myself in a position to succeed when that time came, when COVID allowed us to actually have games. And it wasn't until a couple of weeks ago that um, we found out officially that the national Singapore national team was selected, uh, was, was granted the opportunity to go to the SEA Games, which is the Southeast Asian Games. Mm -hmm. um, and prior to that, that announcement, we, we were just practicing just as hopefully, hoping that we could make that, you know, that we could be selected to go to that. But to be completely honest, a lot of us didn't think it was gonna happen. You know, there are some guidelines and some requirements that they expect us to hit. Um, and because of COVID, we weren't able to, you know, even attempt some of those guidelines, such as traveling overseas to play other teams and get some practice games and just do these things that in a normal world we'd be able to do easily. Um, and we had a 20 plus man roster that needed to be cut down to 12 men. So um, I made I made that 12 man roster. So we are I'm officially a, a Singapore national team player. You don't know. This ain't my number, though. I'm going to wear number one. And LeBron sure. James fan. He plays like LeBron, too. No skill, just all no. power. Just because I'm stronger than you don't mean it's all power, baby. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, but now they gave me this my practice jersey. My jersey number is going to be number one. Um, that was my number my sophomore year in high school, which was my first year on varsity. First state championship. You know, you you starting fresh, right? You starting like you're stepping into the big boys. So I felt like it's, yeah. it's only right. You're stepping, you're stepping oh. in with the, you know, you it's your first year on varsity. So right. you're going to have the arm sleeve too. You're going to wear the arm sleeve and everything. Nah, nah, I never wore no arm sleeve. Man. They got right, right. to see the, they got to see the bucket get her. You know, so, right. Don't say that. Don't <laughs> say that and drop no damn eggs now. Watch no, me. I'm not going to drop no eggs. I'm not going to drop no eggs. All right. <laughs> Um, so I made the national team officially and we're getting selected to go to sea games, which is in Hanoi, Vietnam in May. Um, so leading up to that, uh, next month in April, we'll be having um, these games in Bali. So there'll be some three on three games, there'll be some five on five games. Um, and they're kind of like a preparation for the sea games as well as a preparation for the ABL season, which is the, the pro team season. It's actually connected to the slingers more so than the national team. Um, thanks to Michael Johnson, the GM of the Slingers, um, he was able to help us. Uh, yeah, he was helping us to get us um, the national team a part of that as well because he's mm -hmm. he's been working close with uh, the Saigon Heat guys uh, in Vietnam. Michael um, Johnson, to, guys. Michael Johnson, not Michael Jordan. Michael right? Johnson, yeah, oh, Michael, Michael Johnson. Yeah, he he's he's nice though, Michael Johnson. If you go Google him, he played in the NBL. I want to mm -hmm. say he was he was either number one or number two all time scorer. He's a Hall of Famer in the NBL. NBL is the Australian league for those who don't know. Um, one yeah. of the best leagues in the world now, um, but he, the, the man can play. He's about six, seven, six, eight, maybe. Mm -hmm. Shoot, yeah, he, he can play. He can play. He knows he what you're play. talking about. So he can play. I'll, you ain't you, you, you ain't a Hall of Famer by accident. Yeah, I'll get buckets all of now. Now, because he's like fifty, but <laughs> back in his day, he ain't, he's cooking you. He's eating you alive, eating you alive. But anyway, oh, yeah. so. We're going to Bali, play these games, um, and I'm just really excited to finally, you know, be getting to do what I what I came here to, to do. Um, mm. You know, I'm not getting any younger. Uh, you know, everybody knows a professional window is only so big, and um, time was running. So mm. I'm happy that starting next month we really get you know to get going on that, and um, that's 
it's a, it's a dream come true to finally get my foot in that door and really, really step mm -hmm. into that, that role. So, yeah. Yeah. Everyone here is happy for you, man. My whole family was super happy to hear about that news. All your friends here in Canada who, who, uh, who've been supporting you since day one, right? We've, we've all wanted you yeah. to, to do that. We've all pushed you to do that. And we all knew you had the potential to. So now it's just your, now it's your time, man. It's your time, man. Like, Absolutely. you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't take this for granted. Um, that's what I would tell you. You know what I'm saying? If you're getting in there, um, just, just don't even do ups and downs, just try and stay even kill. You know what I mean? Don't, you know, cause you're going to have bad games. You're going to have good games. And you just got to make sure you, you stay positive and you stay like you, you have to you have to stay. Um, you have to you have to know that you're good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to know, like I'm the best player. You know what I'm saying? You have to always have that confidence in you no matter what, bro. And you know what I'm saying? I've, yeah. I've always told you about that. Like that's that's something that I carry no matter where I am. And I feel like, you know, because I got certain information from people playing at high level and that's what the best are. That's how the best are, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we, you know what I'm saying? And if, if you're there playing, we, we want you to be the best, you know what I'm saying? And we know you can. So everyone here supports you and, and, and we, we really do hope you do well. You know what I mean? And that's, that's real talk. That's real that's talk. Awesome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it.